Oh god. I thought the last Romeo and Juliet game was bad enough. What's this? How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. To Charles. We're here with the Lilliput tale, Little Romeo and Juliet. Okay, does anyone remember like the um the 90s cartoons whereby everything was made into like, you know, all the main characters were like kid versions of themselves. I feel like someone wanted to bring that back, unjustifiably, I might add. Um, well, you know what? It might not be as bad as the last one, I don't know, but I'm kind of creeped out by it. Alright, well, at least it's in English, although I'm pretty sure that's not the English flag. Wow. Oh, I can have it in UK, US and UK. <sighs> really? You're discerning between the United States and the UK, despite both of them speaking English. All right, I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna stick with US. Why not play? Uh, <laughs> That's difficulty levels. Oh my god! Are you serious? This is a Shakespeare play. There is no easy, medium, hard. Select a scene to begin your adventure. Carefully study each image to find the diff. This is a spot the difference game. Oh my god! Spot all the differences to unlock a new scene. Your progress will be saved automatically. If you get stuck, click shake or reveal for a hint. Find all the differences quick to earn a time bonus. Me, I like this game nice and hard. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna struggle. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be a breeze for me. Spoiler alert. This is actually a pretty accurate statement. Oh my god. Nine differences. Um, um, instantly regretting this. Also, for some reason, I have two mouses. I hope you can only see one. Alright, uh, one. Uh, oh god, this really captures the Elizabethan era. Two, oh, no, that wasn't one. Two, for some reason one's a pirate. That thing. And that thing. Oh, I just know I'm going to get to the last one, I'm going to hate it. I'm going to just be like, oh, that, really? And I wouldn't have spotted it. Uh, well, this is agony. Can't see anything anywhere. The five differences I've got. Oh no, is there five left or have I got five altogether? Yay, found one. Man, this game feels so rewarding when you find a difference. Oh, there's four left, okay. I bet some of you are just screaming at me right now, being like, it's right there! Oh, I just... I'm not terrible at spot the difference games, but, you know, I, I genuinely, nine times out of ten, can't be asked. There's one. God, I am doing absolutely terrible right now. Oh, there's another. Two differences left. Oh, the, the mouth. That one actually looks really obvious. And the eyebrow. Yay! I got time bonus. Oh, God, really? Oh, but... Uh, <laughs> so it's going to tell the story through all the bullshit that's happening. I mean, personally, that's not going to give me much to talk about, is it? And really, I put this on hard. I was expecting some sort of difficulty to happen in the game. I'm just, I'm just slaying this now. I understand how to spot the difference. I've got these new skills. I can put this in my CV that I played the Lilliput tale, Little Romeo and Juliet. Don't know why I would do that, but I guess it's something I'd do. Oh, there's one. Oh, fuck me. Where are those fucking, where are those stupid differences? They don't exist. The... Oh, wait, there's the heart. Genuinely hate. Oh, and curl. Yay! Ah, oh, then what happened? They ran away together. And fucking, I can't tell who's who now. Oh, wait, so it's Juliet watching, but then there's uh, Romeo running away. And then there's that guy. Is that Juliet's father chasing him? Well, in fairness, at least this is a little more accurate to um the previous Romeo and Juliet. Although it's still weird. And... Yeah, there's not a s this time there's not a single word from the Romeo and Juliet play in this. What have I done? I was expecting to uphold why um, Romeo and Juliet, um, no, any Shakespeare play actually. I was going to uphold like how Shakespeare has changed our world, invented the English language. Instead, I've done this. I've made these videos. And whilst I don't instantly regret the videos I made, I do wonder how much of my videos are contributing to... Um, the world of YouTube. I wonder if, like, despite this being, like, a really cute game and stuff, I wonder if they're still gonna, like, kill off Romeo and Juliet at the end. 
Because, you know, it is a tragedy. And that does happen. But I feel like all these games are way too cute to do that. They're just like, oh, no, they'll live happily ever after. Like, like, Nomeo and Juliet. God, I hated that film with a passion. I literally only hated it because it ended nicely. You don't do, you don't do that to a, a Shakespeare tragedy. You don't make them end nicely. It's called a tragedy for a reason. God. Yay, did it. Oh, oh, what's this? Well, this scene doesn't really add anything to the plot. All we know is now Juliet's screaming as whoever this guy is, is chasing down Romeo. Yes. And the teeth. And the circle. Oh. Whew. I can see why people don't let's play Shakespeare games. I mean, I hate to insult the developer, but... I wonder what they were thinking. Did they think, oh yes, why don't we take the imagination and the, like, the amazing Shakespeare world and put a little point and click into it? I'm sure people would love that. That's the equivalent of, you know, someone looking at Bejeweled and being like, I know, why don't we make this have like in-game transactions and then just put sweets everywhere instead of jewels? Oh wait, alright, that was a bad like attack on Candy Crush there. Um, but then I never really agreed with them like getting this popular without... Um, Acknowledging Bejeweled that much. Anyway, oh, I can't be asked to find any of these differences. My brain is melting! Where, where the fuck, what the fuck's different? There's no difference. I know, I know you guys out there probably, oh wait, tough of hair. Alright, where's that one difference then? That I genuinely, I don't know why I'm getting angrier as I play this game. Maybe it's because I'm not going to get anything out of this. I wanted to like, enlighten you all with Shakespeare. You know? Teach the kids, have parents approve of me, but then I'd swear, and then they'd be like, oh, well, I can't let you watch that, honey. Instead, oh. What does Shake do, anyway? Did, did that do anything? Um, it doesn't do anything. Nothing's shaking. All right, cool. Is that basically the game saying, no, there's no difference? Oh, fuck. Where's that last fucking difference? It's not anywhere it doesn't exist you're delusional game you're lying to me oh the leaf oh fuck you that didn't even shake once oh and then the guy fell off and he's about to die is he oh that's a shame i was really getting like into the character of red man oh come on where are all these stupid goddamn differences teeth hat <laughs> yes, yes. You know what I'd like to see in the comments section, if people are watching this? Um, can you guys let me know what you'd want to see in a Shakespeare game? I mean, I guess I just, you know... Oh, I mean, I liked the Top Trumps one, but that's just me. I would mind to think with a little adventure in it as well. Like, you know, capturing like the elegance of characters. Like, probably still being linear, but you know, had some famous actors, had some, like, effort put into it. They definitely need a bit of effort into their games. Yay, did it. Oh, but Romeo saved him. This does not happen. This never happens in the, um, play. Oh, my God. He's holding a stick there. Um... Um, oh, I wish I had better commentary than um. I still think that's more detail than they put in this game. I've still got six more pages. I'm not going to be able to take six more pages. Six more pages is way too much. Oh, God. Couldn't they have just made a comic book? And then it's been like, oh, yeah, guys, we made this comic book. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a smiley face. And shape doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, it does slightly, but you don't really see it that much, because it's so tiny! I should have just gone for easy. Oh, okay, found that. Yay! Cool! And then... <laughs> oh, come on! At least be accurate to the story. Right. This doesn't happen! I know they're gonna go for the fucking happy ending! And that makes me angry! So they're basically here, they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, because you've saved the dad's life. Now the dad's going to approve of Romeo, and it's all going to be nice and hunky-dory. That doesn't happen. The dad doesn't like it, 
And then the two go to like an apothecary. Juliet buys a potion or Romeo. And then Juliet poisons herself. Romeo finds her looking dead, stabs himself. Juliet wakes up, stabs herself. And then there's just this whole thing about may you, the two families of Capula and Montague shouldn't have fought in the first place. But no, instead we'll just save the dad's life and then everything will be hunky-dory. So what does Reveal do? Oh, okay. Well, that's much easier to work with. Ugh. Oh, tree branch. I mean, in a world where we accept Saw as a thing, we can't accept that Romeo and Juliet can just, like, die tragically. Even for kids. Because let's be fair, I know a fair few ten-year-olds who um, have seen Saw. I've also known a fair few ten-year-olds that smoked, which is bad, actually. Don't smoke, kids. But, you know, I just don't like the fact they're taking the accuracy of Shakespeare just to make it more appealing for kids. So parents aren't like, oh my god, how could they do this? Oh, man, what happened? They ran into some flowers. God, these, these Romeo and Juliet people, they're really small, aren't they? Look at those flowers, they're huge, they're like beds. You could easily stomp on these two by accident and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise there was a little Shakespeare... I don't want to say tragedy, because it's not a tragedy. But, you know, a little Shakespeare comedy happening right here. I have to know how the story ends, you know? It is such a good story. Uh, oh, was that it? I thought there was more. No? Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What what have I just played? What have I literally just played? Alright, this was Little Romeo and Juliet. Fucking, they didn't even spell Little right. You spell Little with two T's. Are you telling me this person has no knowledge of the English language that they spell Little wrong? How do you do that? How? Oh my god. Okay, well, I didn't actually expect to get to the end of the game, but I did. Um, I'm not going to say it was a good game. You can literally go on Facebook and play a detective game that does exactly the same thing, but has a little bit better storytelling and interaction with your friends. Oh my god, no. <laughs> the annoying thing is, they actually have like the decent art skills to be able to make something. But I don't know if it's like the lack of imagination or the fact they just don't know how to come to their own idea. I mean, in fairness, right, this was one of the six games I could find that was Shakespeare related. So I'll, I'll, I'll say thank you guys for being able to make this. Whoever made this. Uh, games, games. I don't know, whoever it is. But come on. It was a lit. You could have literally made it anything. You could have made it like uh, the Titanic spot the difference. You could have easily just got some like print screens of the Titanic movie, added like a mustache here and there that's different to another picture, and then yeah, you would have had the exact same game. But whatever, cool. You know what? I'm done with Romeo and Juliet for a bit. The next two games, they're not going to be Romeo and Juliet related because the Romeo and Juliet games are so bland and actually kind of annoying because it's not anything like the original play. But you know what? If you guys are desperate for some Romeo and Juliet action, I'll leave a link to the game in the description below. And without further ado, look at my books and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya! Mm -hmm.